capacitors tutorial for beginners how to use capacities hey guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'll share my own experience of how can we use this platform to organize our life basically there are a lot of options of how can we interact with capacities and i definitely recommend you to start with the main website to see all the variants of how can we interact because yeah, it looks like Notion or something like this, but the way of interacting with information is a little bit different. So definitely I recommend you to find how uh, is it possible to interact with everything inside. So here we are on capacities.io. In order to create an account, you just simply need to click on register in the right top corner. So after that, you'll be able to uh, create an account with your Gmail. Of course, they have like a free plan and paid plan. We'll discover the pricing plans a little bit later. So let's start from our uh, workspace. So after creating account and when you will uh, basically uh, verify your email, you'll come to this page where you have a couple of options. So this is our workspace. And what do we have here? In the left side, we have our menu and in the right side we have our workspace so as you can see now i'm on the folder which is called get started and here we can find a couple of easy ways of how to start interacting with our uh, capacity workspace so i definitely recommend you to basically follow all the steps here in this case you'll be able to interact with all the interface you'll be able to know everything about so we also have a calendar here so all the nodes on the capacities they're arranged according to the date of creation so it will be easy as for you to navigate between here in the right side we'll be able to switch between different dates and after that uh, basically we'll be able to know what did we create for example today or yesterday so basically it's pretty cool all the active dates will be marked like this as you can see we have like this colored icon and also if we are going to create something we'll get this like green circle inside right up here so also we can switch between a navigation we can switch between months weeks uh three days and day inside it could be really really uh, helpful the next area we have is like a pinned basically if we want to uh, find something in a quick way we can pin our boards or workspaces or pages so it will be easy as for us to open the pages so what can we do here basically we can create different objects inside but firstly let's add the navigation so we can interact with pages by clicking on these three dots here so we have a couple of options like delete duplicate open share export and so on we can also unpin it if it's unnecessary in my case let's delete this page right up here if you want to create a new page new object you just simply need to find this icon this button right up here so we can add an object type as you can see we have pre-created objects like web links images and pages we can try to open them and as you can see we can now find all the things inside we can also add a new web link for example we can interact with an existing web links by clicking on this three dots and the same here with images so we can create uh, some galleries inside of the capacities if it's necessary as for you and also in this case uh, we can interact with some other stuff so let's click on a new type add an object type and after that we'll come to this page where we can start from a scratch basically without any content inside or we can use some templates so they have a template like books person meeting zettel project and so on a lot of pages here so as you can see we have even ai option a conversation with an ai sometimes it could be really really helpful if it's like important for you to have an assistant basically something like this let's try to create a blank page to show you all the things so we need to select an icon let it be like this let it be like name okay like page one we can change the color and plural of names 
let's choose something like this create object type so after that we'll come to this page where we have the option to open it and here we can add a couple of options firstly we can manage uh, we can switch the way of how can we see this page so we can open the graph view so it could be really helpful let me show you for example here how can we see our graph view so let's try to open something in existing way so uh, it looks really really interesting if we are going to interact with the stuff in a graph way so we can find all the things here so if you are going to add objects they'll be related uh, on this area so it could be easy to uh, like interact with them in the they will be like visualized as for you so in this case we can now add a lot of things but you need to know the main uh, like symbols we can add like backslash here so we'll be able to interact with all of these things like different lists pages web links and so on and also we can add it to objects uh, we'd like to add it to we can add it to pages images web links tweets and so on so as you can see these are two main symbols you need to know if you want to interact with uh, basically capacities also in the right side we have the option like change it to the graph view uh, pin to space is already as a set to make it fast to open it and also like open as a page so let's open it and as you can see now it looks like this so nothing hard in order to interact with uh, uh, capacities all the interface is quite easy moreover we have like their own academy if you're going to click on it in the left bottom corner so we can find uh, some uh, tutorials like getting started fundamental pillars and a quick tour and I definitely recommend you to watch them after watching my video because now you understand how to interact with it and if you want to get some inspiration it will be definitely better as for you to open this stuff so let's discover their prices now and of course we have a free plan like capacity basic also they have a pro and believer so if you want to use it early you can get these prices ten dollars like 12 and a half and if you're going to pay monthly we'll get these dollars like 12 and 15 dollars so what will we get here basically we'll get like ai assistance more queries task action api assess and also we'll get like mobile app ios and android formulas for tables blog based linking curated icon set unlimited media uploads and so on so as for me it's definitely worth to use capacities you can try to use it for free and after that if you want to get some additional features so you can get pro version or believer so that's all for this video hope this video helped you out leave a like subscribe and goodbye guys